This video discusses the widely used self-excited generators used on generator systems and covers standard self-excited or shunt excitation, inductive loads effects on starting voltage, limitations of self-excited AVR systems, and the advantages and disadvantages of self-excited systems. Construction and operation of a rotating field self-exciting generator starts with the shaft. The electricity for generator output is generated in the stator, mounted within the generator frame. Mounted to the shaft is the rotor for generating the rotating magnetic field. On the end of the shaft is also mounted the exciter coils. Next are the exciter stator coils, also within the frame of the generator. Mounted to the generator is an automatic voltage regulator, or AVR. In a self-excited AVR system, AC reference voltage is fed from the stator to the AVR. The AVR converts the AC current to DC and feeds this current to the exciter stator coils, which generates a magnetic field around the stator coils. If the AVR's reference voltage falls, it increases DC current to the exciter coils and reduces this current if the reference AC voltage is too high. An AC electric current is then induced into the exciter rotor, turning within the exciter stator's magnetic field. All per Faraday's law stating an EMF, electric current, is generated in a conductor moving in a magnetic field. A rotating diode assembly on the exciter converts this AC current to DC. The DC current fed into the main rotor windings also generates a magnetic field. This rotating magnetic field within the main stator windings causing an electromotive force or EMF or electrical current to be induced into the stator windings. This current is then fed to the connected electrical equipment making up the electrical load. A self-excited excitation system is a very effective method for regulating voltage output, especially for non-inductive loads such as heaters and lighting. However, a self-excited generator's output voltage is not the best option when a high percentage of the load is inductive, like electric motors. When started, they can reduce the generator's output voltage. The AC output as high inductive load is applied is shown as a percentage of generator output voltage on the y-axis and time on the x-axis, assuming normal voltage output is at 100%. As an electric motor or inductive load is connected to the generator output, the output voltage will fall. Move the motor from a stationary position and it is usual to see voltage fall by 15%. As the motor runs up to speed, the voltage will continue to climb back to normal, and there is usually a 2.5% overshoot before normal output voltage is reached, and then a 2.5% dip before climbing again to within 1% of normal. This pattern is entirely normal and within limits. During the starting phase, the self-excited generator's reference voltage to the AVR drops, and the AVR will feed more DC volts to the exciter coils to increase the main rotor's magnetic field to increase stator output voltage. However, should the inductive load on the generator be too high, such as more than 50% of generator output, the current required to start the motors will cause an excessive fall in generator voltage output and reach a point there is insufficient reference voltage to the AVR and hence not enough DC current to the exciter, causing the excitation to collapse and zero voltage from the main stator. When choosing a generator, the system designer takes into account a self-excited generator's inability to manage an inductive load mainly comprising electric motors. As long as the AC reference voltage from the stator to the AVR stays above 60 to 70 percent, the DC feed to the exciter will continue feeding the main rotor, generating a magnetic field to maintain AC output from the generator to the load. However, once the AC reference feed from the stator to the AVR drops to a certain level due to a high percentage of motor starting load causing a severe drop in output voltage when the load is applied, the AVR doesn't receive enough AC input voltage to rectify and feed DC current to the exciter. As such, this causes a collapse in excitation with no DC input to the main rotor, causing the rotating magnetic field to collapse, and hence no AC power from the generator. There are pros and cons with a self-excited system. Pros include most economic system of voltage regulation, less components and easier to service, well-regulated loads with low inductive content, and more compact than the alternative AVR solutions. Cons include input volts are dependent on main rotor output. Motors can cause loss of input voltage on starting, leading to the collapse of generator excitation. Also see our video on PMG for better regulation of high inductive loads. And if you have any questions, contact your local generator provider.